in the putting off of the flesh and the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, that is of the heart and the old man of the way of living and being is gone. Buried with him in baptism, you are buried with him in baptism, this is enveloped, wherein also you are risen with him. You were baptized with him, wherein you are risen with him. Through the faith, through the faith of the operation of God, through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. And you are how? You are buried in his baptism, you are circumcised with that of Christ, and where you are also risen with him, through, this is how you're risen with him, through the faith of the operation of God. His operation, was what happened on that cross? That the demons were rejoicing over, but had they known what they were really doing, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory, but they were crucifying you with him. Anybody who came into Christ, you was on that cross with him. If they'd have known that, they would have never done it. It's the operation of God, the covert operation of God, okay? Who hath raised him from the dead, and you, being dead in your sins and uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened. And the uncircumcision of your flesh, that means you didn't get the old circumcised, the physical circumcision. The uncircumcision of your flesh. Because you were circumcised in the spirit with Christ. But the uncircumcision of the flesh, you are the uncircumcised, where you didn't have to have physical circumcision to be part of the covenant. 